Hey everyone, welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. This episode we're going to be studying a piece by the established multidisciplinary artist known as Paul Lastovica. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at this vivid elemental light, as well as the influences of the divine. So let's jump right into it. So whenever you first see this work, you know, we're struck with the incredible light of the composition before us here. You know, your first impression is likely one of awe due to the rather, you know, divine nature of this incredible display. And so one of the first things you're going to notice when you look at this work is likely going to be use of space here. We see this quite clearly. You have this kind of grid or plus shape layout to the composition at hand. You know, these four rather simple squares here act as an incredible anchor to the composition and give us a sense of order and layout. Of course, the rather dark aesthetic here allows the impact of light and dark accents to really impact themselves to the highest degree possible. We certainly see that within this composition. And in the realm of color, we see a diverse range of tones. Primarily is this kind of bluish purple, if you will, and a bit of gold and green as well throughout the composition. Of course, all of these diverse tones give us a sense of energy within the composition alongside the impact of such vibrant light. And also on the topic of format in this composition, we see this near symmetrical layout, right? It is quite close to perfect symmetry, of course, mirrored across a vertical central axis there. When you see elements of symmetry, it's always going to give a sense of order or say higher harmony, such as in the work before us here. And so the title of this work is Pale Windows. You know, no doubt you're going to look at this work and see a window in one way or another. Even the kind of classic shape of the uh, grid layout certainly reminds of a very basic window as well. And with that in mind, there's just so many layers to the work at hand, and we certainly see that within this composition here. Another thing you're going to be drawn to is this kind of central orb. You know, I talked about these, um, I almost called them rectangles, squares that act as kind of an anchor in this composition. And I think that the central orb also acts as that as well. There's this sense of light that kind of emits from that. You see these uh, radiant rays that go off of that composition, of course, adding to the vibrance at hand. And of course, as an anchor, you know, I was talking to the original artist and Lestovic, I was talking about how it almost feels like a guide or some type of, you know, sense of a spirit that is guiding you through this transition. And of course, when we look at a window, you're inherently going to have a symbolism of the transition in one way or another. Of course, you're on one side of that looking in, of course, looking into a new state of being, for example. You know, you look at the textures here in the center. It's just absolutely stunning. They're kind of rough textures, but of course, when it's added with with such vibrance, it gives an incredible spirit to the work at hand. And the artist was talking about, you know, the textures here in the center. Of course, you see what is reminiscent of the stroke of water. We see that quite clearly. Not only does that kind of reflect that, but it gives a sense of the fluid. And the artist was talking about this kind of fluid state of being. And of course, inherent with that is going to be transformation, which kind of, you know, really goes full circle to the sense of a gateway or a window within this work at hand. And of course, alongside that symbolism, whenever you have iridescent light, such as in the composition here, it's almost always going to point to the divine in one way or another. And we see that in so many different instances throughout art, right? When you see, you know, multicolored light or this incredible vibrance of light, it almost always points to the metaphysical in some way or another. And we certainly see that here. It's just absolutely stunning. And so, you know, we talk about this space of transition, right? It almost feels like if we're being guided through this gate into a a new state of being. It's quite interesting there. And, you know, on this topic, I actually have two other pieces that are related to this work in one way or another. We're going to bring those in real quick, see what we can learn. All right, so I brought in two works here. We have one on the left and one on the right. And so the artist was talking about, you know, the precursor to this final piece here. And he was talking about how this work inspired that quite a bit. We see this kind of cloudy backdrop. You certainly see a grid layout there and you see this sense of the window or the transition space within that as well. And then we compare that to the work on the right here. We see also reminiscent of a window as well. And you have that just that stunning contrast, of course. I absolutely love that color on that background. It just pops and it catches the eye instantly. In all three instances, you also have kind of like a trimmed border. You know, you see that, of course, in the work on the right, is it is a lot thinner, but the impact is there nonetheless. And we see this, it feels much thicker within this one in the center, of course, framing the center scene. Even these, you know, really help 
to frame that as well. And then on this composition, you have a much thicker frame and border as well, of course, giving a sense of layers to the work at hand, but also, you know, framing that sense of transition or that kind of gateway feeling that we feel inherent to the sense of that window. So it's absolutely stunning. And I love to have those to really compare to the original work that we see here, or sorry, not the original work, but the, the final composite that we see in the work before us here. So yeah, like I said, you know, whenever I look at this piece, of course, I see that sense of transition or moving through the gateway or a portal or a shrine of some way or another. When you combine that with such vivid and iridescent light, you're no doubt going to get those divine displays and those divine themes that we see within the work at hand. It's just absolutely stunning. You know, this work is kind of a mixed media work. It is the result of over, you know, three edits in one lab, I believe, before an additional final edit in Adobe Photoshop. So we see the results of a composite, you know, compiled into the stunning work here. Whenever I first saw this work, I just, you know, I absolutely loved it. What always caught my eye was the central orb and center and how that is kind of reflected by that sense of the water. Of course, the tones here, the vibrance, the colors, you know, so many different things you could point to. It's just absolutely stunning and it was a pleasure to study this work. I really hope y'all enjoyed today. You know, we talked about so many different things from iridescent light to the harmonious nature of symmetry to the impact of different diverse colors all the way to you know the sense of the window or a gateway as a transition of course all combined together into that incredibly divine destination and divine display that we see here so like i said really hope y'all enjoyed today if y'all enjoyed this episode go check out the original artist paul lastovica doing some amazing stuff in multiple different mediums you know he combines different things and he also talks about the sense of exploration inherent within his work you know in those two works that i brought in earlier to compare you know he is in a sense of exploration he starts with one idea and of course as you work through those edits it just turns into an entirely new beast right you see that sense of the evolution inherent within that so there's no doubt it's really stunning and we always love to see that so like I said, you know, if you enjoyed today's episode, go check out the original artist Paul Lastovica doing some amazing stuff in multiple different mediums and an incredibly unique artist and style at that. So yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed today. If y'all enjoyed, go check out the original artist. My name is Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see y'all on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Polar Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.